Hello. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In heavy lifting and transportation work, most of the time we need to deal with this kind of arrangement. Cargo is supported underneath with transportation beam. This beam intended to support the cargo for transportation and jacking down into support. This transportation beam must be able to withstand the load from the cargo. In this video, I will show you how to calculate and do the analysis for transportation beam. Example. You will jack down the 40 ton cargo into support and the length of transportation beam is 6 meter. Consider the cargo center of gravity is at the center. Longitudinal distance in each support from center of gravity of the cargo is 5 meter. And at transverse direction, 4 meter is unsupported length of transportation beam. Start to calculate, the load in support A and support B. By multiplying the total weight of the cargo to D2 or D1, and divided by total distance of 2 support. After getting the value, convert this ton to kilonewton. This is not sponsor video. For this transportation beam calculation, we will use SkyCIV software. SkyCIV software is cloud-based platform for structural analysis. First, select the section builder. Here, you can select what type of beam you can use. You can customize base on your beam design or select from the database. If you have an existing transportation beam, you can use this platform to check and analyze. For this example, I plan to use British Universal Column Beam 305 by 305. Here, you can customize the materials properties of your beam, like yield strength of the steel beam. For this example, I will leave it the same. Now, I'm planning to use two pieces of the beam and join together. To do this, we can duplicate the existing beam that we have by selecting this below icon. Now, the duplicate beam is on the top of the existing beam. You can move this by selecting operations and then changes the Z value. Ensure this two beam will touch each flange end. You can do many as you want for the quantity of your beam. Now start to check the beam calculation. Select the top corner calculate. It will give you the properties if your beams. Like moment of inertia, shear properties, and so on. Save this data. Later you need to use this. After saving the data, close this and go back to main dashboard. Now, select this beam. After selecting the beam, it will bring you in this dashboard. Now, start to customize and input the data based on given example the transportation beam length is 6 meter next select the support put the support location under the transportation beam base in our example you can pause the video so you can follow me how I do it Next, select the section. You can see here the beam that we save. Or customize base on your beam design. Once you complete, select the submit button.
now. You can select what type of load you will apply on the beam. Point load, moments, distributed loads, and load combinations. For this example, I will consider the worst case scenario. Point load acting on the top of the transportation beam. After applying the load, you can start to do the analysis of your transportation beam. Select the top corner icon solve. Here, you can see the result of the analysis of your transportation beam. It will show you here, if the beams that you selected to use is passive fail base on the load applied on top of it. You can see here also, how much the beam deflect when you apply the load. If your beam the selected is fail, you can increase the size the beams, grade, or quantity. This is for example purpose only. In next video, I will show you how to do the manual calculation.